welcome to our channel here. We are making some Parmesan cauliflower um, and uh, we're gonna get started with this. Now, if you like this recipe, um, on the right hand side of this video, there's gonna be a little logo. Yeah, click on it and go subscribe. And uh, you'll get ton like, you'll see all our videos. We have tons of recipes, okay? We do vegan recipes, keto recipes, sugar-free recipes, uh, vegetarian recipes. We are all about healthy eating, whole foods, okay? <laughs> we have tons and tons of recipes on this channel. So if you like this one, you're gonna love other ones. Hit the subscribe button, okay? We upload two new videos every single week. All right, um, and they're just as good and as unique as this one and kid friendly, okay? I only share on this channel what my four-year-old and my three-year-old uh, like to eat, okay? So they're gonna be having some of this. They actually like cauliflower. Um, so <laughs> this is like a little treat for them. Um, but uh, we're gonna be uh, making this up and uh, they just love it because it's, they're like, it tastes like pizza, okay? So it's, it's awesome. Awesome. So we're gonna start off by putting some olive oil in here, okay? So we're gonna put some olive oil in here, about two tablespoons of here. And if you can't follow me, or you're like drastically writing it down, don't worry. In the comment, like in the description below, there's a little link, um, and it's gonna say get the written recipe here. You click on it, and there's your written recipe. Okay. We even have like these little recipe cards you can print off. It's like really cute. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to put about two tablespoons of olive oil in here, okay? All right. And then we're going to add some spices to this, this little thing here. Okay, so we have half a teaspoon of black pepper. We're going to put some of that in. Okay, we got um, half a teaspoon of onion powder. Okay, and we have a teaspoon. Oh, sorry, a tablespoon of onion powder, a tablespoon of some chicken broth spice. Okay, some chicken spice. We have a tablespoon of paprika. And then we have a tablespoon of garlic, okay? I'm just gonna scoot over here. Get a spoon. I forgot to grab a spoon. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna mix this all up. It's gonna be like a nice little rub for these, this, um, for the cauliflower. I'm gonna add just a little bit more olive oil here. I was just guesstimating, about two tablespoons though, but I was guesstimating just here. <laughs> so that's a little thick. <laughs> okay, there we go, that's more than enough now. Okay. Also on this channel, you'll also find that we use all natural ingredients, okay? We do not actually use any processed ingredients for the most part. I don't think any of these our videos on here actually have any processed stuff on here, actually, to be honest. Um, well, other than the flowers, because flowers are processed. Uh, we use coconut flour and almond flour in here. But other than that, everything is natural, grown. Um, and we actually grow most of our vegetables. Most of these vegetables are actually from our garden. <laughs> we preserve them throughout the year. So we have this rub now made, okay? So that's gonna be for the cauliflower. What we're gonna do right now, so I should uh, get the oven on, and preheat it to, we're gonna have this on at 350. We have like a cake pan or lasagna pan, whatever you wanna use. We could put some parchment paper down. We're gonna actually, we have some um, like, um, tomatoes tomatoes in here and then we added a little bit of lentils for some little extra protein for us in here you don't have to add the lentils okay don't you worry um but we're gonna actually just put this along the bottom first so this is just crushed tomatoes and a little bit of lentils nothing fancy here okay <laughs> all right and we're just putting this along the bottom here Now this, I like, okay, because you can make a big pan of this, right? Right? And then you can put it in the freezer. Mm -hmm. you can take it out. Mm -hmm. So meal prep, guys, meal prep. Um, I'm a big advocate for meal prep, okay? I'm busy, I'm a busy mom, okay? So we 
have lots of lasagna recipes on here, casserole recipes on here, and then you can use this recipe um, on here. And uh, what we do on our Sundays uh, is we actually cook, which is why you see a lot of those, because I do most of my recording of my videos on a Sunday. Um, we actually um, mix them all up and then we put them in the freezer for the week or we put them in the fridge for the week. Um, so all our suppers, all our lunches, everything is already pre-made just by like those lasagna and casseroles. So if you're a busy mom and but you want to eat healthy, this, you know, literally making this in a casserole takes, um, it takes half hour to cook. Okay, the casserole and, and this each take a half hour to cook. So you get this already in the oven, you're prepping the other one, and then by the time this one's done, you're done prepping the other one, that goes in. You can have your entire meals set out within like an hour and a half, guys, on one day, which is like really cool. Really cool, okay? Um, so, let's get this all down here. We're just getting it. We're getting like a nice, good, solid layer down here, okay? All right. Okay, so that's all on there. It's about a cup of crushed tomatoes with lentils, with about a half a cup of lentils, okay? So we have our layer down, okay? Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually take these cauliflowers. So these are, this is raw cauliflower. We cut them in steaks, okay? And we're gonna put them down in the pan here, okay? So we got them laying down in the pan here, okay? So ours roughly fits four large cauliflower steaks. Okay, add a little bit more if you want, if your pan's bigger, uh, but that's roughly what ours fits. So you put them down just like that, okay? Flat down on there, and then we're gonna take the rub we made. We're gonna take our, a little brush. We're gonna get some on the brush here, do, 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 do. And we're actually gonna just brush the rub onto the cauliflower, okay? brush on it real good real good okay also going to do is keep the cauliflower nice and moist too between this and the sauce oh this cauliflower is going to be heavenly heavenly okay so then we have about a cup of mozzarella cheese you can use any cheese you want we love mozzarella cheese that's what we have it shredded up okay we're going to sprinkle it on top okay do you guys want to see quick before i cover it all in cheese there you go so you can see that the rub is like really good on the cauliflower there like it's covered okay and we're just gonna cover our cauliflower up in cheese here okay. whole thing just like a layer of cheese guys like load her up okay then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some parmesan cheese here but roughly quarter cup okay that's what we do we're roughly okay it's a quarter cup in the recipe, okay? It is, but we do it roughly um, because uh, we like our Parmesan cheese. But there we go. So that's, we got some Parmesan cheese on there. Boom! And then you stick it in the oven for, uh, at 350 for 30 minutes and you get yourself some um, cauliflower steaks. Now I'm gonna show you what it looks like uh, coming out of the oven, really good, nice and crispy, cheesy. Parmesan cauliflower, okay, um, in the next cake, okay, so. There it is, coming out of the oven, look at this, there, I break that light, right? Yeah, look at that. 
So if you like this recipe, um, hit the subscribe button on the right hand side of the video and uh, you'll never get bored of all the recipes we have. Thank you for watching.